Welcome to my channel, The Flix Judge, where you will get detailed reviews and honest ratings of global movies and OTT series so that you can watch only the best content worthy of your time. Today, we will review Bhakshak, a movie that released on Netflix. Bhumi Pendekar, Sanjay Mishra and Aditya Srivastav have acted in lead roles in this movie, which is directed by Pulkit. Hindi original, this is available in other Indian languages, dubbed versions. Bakshak is loosely based on real events that happened a few years ago in Bihar. Vaishali is a journalist who runs a small-time local TV channel from a small room with just one camera and a cameraman. Bhumi Pendekar has acted in the role of Vaishali and Sanjay Mishra has acted in the role of cameraman Bhaskar Sina. Vaishali is from a very ordinary family background with no resources or backing. One day, she comes across an information about exploitation of girls that is happening in a shelter home run with government aid. The shelter home is run by a local businessman, Bansi Sahu, who has powerful connections in the police and the government. Aditya Srivastava has played the role of Bansi. When she tries to investigate the shelter home, Vaishali immediately faces many obstacles. Her efforts through her channel, through government, through police, Nothing yields any results. Instead, she faces intimidation and threats from Bansi. How she fights all odds to get justice for the exploited orphan girls in the shelter home against these powerful criminals forms the rest of the story. The first good thing about this movie is the excellent realistic making and the tight and gripping screenplay. The mood of the entire movie is kept very grim and uneasy. The set Buildings, makeup, camera work, lighting, be it internal or exterior shots, all have been kept in sync with the subject of the movie. This relentless focus on the seriousness of the story, though at times feeling very heavy, is really the key to very engaging product this movie has turned out to be. Since many people may already be aware of the outline of the story as it is a real event, the engagement of the viewer can come only through the original writing of good, relatable characters, acting and a fast-paced screenplay. Without straying too much from reality, with enough doses of drama and some scenes to build the character of the heroine, the director Pulkit manages to build an interesting and tight narrative, a great job from him. The next good thing is the characters and acting by the key characters Vaishali and Bansi Sahu. Bhumi as Vaishali plays the role to perfection. Hers is a role that straddles the demands of a normal housewife as well as that of an investigative journalist fighting powerful forces with nothing but her camera and journalistic skills. On the one hand, she has to face taunts from her husband that she has not even cooked food when she gets back late, chasing after villains and politicians. And on the other, she is driven by her desire to save the young girls being exploited and bring the culprits to justice. Bhumi has given an excellent and balanced performance in this role. Aditya Srivastava as Bansi Sahu has also given a very controlled performance. He does not overact or shout at screen while he does all his evil acts. Sanjay Mishra has acted as usual quite well in his role as a cameraman. As I mentioned earlier, the overall technical aspects like camera work, sets, background score are all very good and helps in maintaining the mood of the story. I couldn't find anything much by way of negatives. So, what is the verdict? Bakshak is one of those rare good Indian movies that come on Netflix which feels Indian and has realistic and relatable characters. Without any unnecessary political messaging, this one is a definite must-watch. The subject is a very heavy subject, but can definitely be watched with family. Since the theme can be very disturbing, those with young children can take a call based on their situation. I will give this movie a 6 out of 10 stars. See you again with another review. Until then, bye and happy viewing. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. I go through hours and hours of content so that you can watch only the very best ones in your precious free time. Thank you.